NASA is back in news again, but why? What is the next discovery? Actually, this time NASA has discovered something interesting, and today we are here to do postpartum of this discovery. Hello viewers, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we are back here again with an interesting fact. NASA has just discovered a metal world worth 10 quintillion dollars. Where is this world? How can we reach there? We are going to discuss all these things here, so let us start. The huge metal-rich asteroid Psyche is one of the most fascinating objects in the main asteroid belt. It is almost three times farther from the Sun than the distance that the Earth is from the Sun. Its typical diameter is around 140 miles, which is approximately 1 16th the diameter of the Moon orbiting Earth, or approximately the same distance as that which separates Los Angeles and San Diego. Psyche may be the last fragment of the core of a planetesimal that was destroyed long ago. A planetesimal is a fragment of a planet that is around the size of a city or a small nation. If this is the case, the asteroid Psyche has the potential to provide a detailed view of the region of terrestrial planets like Earth, which is often obscured by layers of mantle and crust. On March 17, 1852, the Italian astronomer Annibale di Gasparis was working in Naples when he found the massive M-type asteroid that would later be named after the Greek legendary character Psyche. Psyche is an M-type asteroid. The number 16 before its name indicates that it was found to be the 16th minor planet in the sequence of its discovery. It is the biggest and most massive of the asteroids that belongs to the M-type, and it is also one of the 12 asteroids that are the most massive. It is around 1% of the total mass of the asteroid belt and has a mean diameter of about 220 kilometers, around 140 miles. In the past, it was theorized that it was the exposed core of a protoplanet. However, multiple subsequent investigations have almost completely disproved this theory. Exploration of space was expected to take place on Psyche, beginning with the launch of a spaceship in 2022, followed by the arrival at the beginning of 2026, and then orbital exploration in 2026-27. A sort of shorthand rotation that is compatible with previous notation for the classic planets was developed by astronomers, and it included the creation of icon-like symbols for the first 15 asteroids that were identified. The asteroid Psyche, along with a few other asteroids found after 16 Psyche, was assigned a distinctive symbol. The emblem was the wing of a butterfly with a star on top. In Greek mythology, the butterfly was a representation of the soul, Psyche being the Greek word for soul. Nevertheless, before Psyche's emblem was ever put into use, the iconic symbols for all asteroids had already been rendered obsolete. After the discovery of more than a dozen asteroids, it became more difficult to memorize each of their particular emblems. In 1851, German astronomer J.F. Enck proposed using a circling number instead of individual emblems. After the publication of his findings in 1852 by an American astronomer by the name of J. Ferguson, Psyche became the first asteroid to be given a name under the new system. Psyche was first estimated to have a diameter of 253 kilometers, which was derived from the observations of IRAS thermal infrared radiation. This is 15% higher than the mean value that is generally considered to be correct. Nonetheless, it was subsequently shown to be an appropriate estimate for the IRAS viewing aspect, since Psyche was observed pole-on at the time that the measurement was performed. On nine separate instances, the planet Psyche has been seen to obscure a star. Four of these in 2004, 2010, 2014, and 2019 generated multi-core datasets. These datasets, along with adaptive optics imaging and three-dimensional modeling, have been used to estimate Psyche's mean diameter, and the most recent models have all converged to an equivalent volume mean diameter of 222.33 kilometers. Psyche has been described in a great deal of detail in a variety of ways. The greatest of them are areas that have a mass deficit in comparison to their nominal ellipsoid form and are evocative of the Rhea Silvia Basin that can be found on 4 Vesta. In addition to the large-scale areas of mass deficit, it has been claimed that there are other apparent craters. Using the adaptive optics sphere imager on the Very Large Telescope, observers reported the existence of two large craters on the order of 90 kilometers in diameter. These craters were provisionally given the names Miro and Panthea, after two witches who appeared in the Roman novel Metamorphosis, written by Apuleius. Craters were claimed to have been found by users of the Arecibo Radar Telescope in the South Pole, referred to as Delta, Southern Mid-Latitudes referred to as Eros, and the North Pole referred to as Foxtrot. Based on an analysis of the features that are present in several different independent shape models, it appears that the craters Panthea and Eros are almost certainly real, and Foxtrot is likely to be real as well. On the other hand, there is debate on whether or not Miro and Delta exist. 
Initial investigations revealed that Psyche has significant differences in the surface brightness of its surface. After making several efforts to invert to construct form models, these variances were much more obvious. The most modern shape models, which are based on light curve inversions, can simultaneously solve for surface albedo fluctuations. These inversions allow for the generation of maps that display areas of the Earth's surface that are up to 20% or darker or brighter than the average albedo of that area. The location of the claimed crater in the Panthea region correlates with an area that is much brighter than the mean, but the reported crater in the Miro region coincides with a significantly darker location. The Arecibo radar telescope was used to conduct radar measurements, which indicated that Psyche's background radar albedo is equivalent to that of other M-type asteroids like 21 Lutetia. This number is consistent with the presence of metal phases inside a silicate or rocky regolith. However, at at least three different sites on Psyche, the radar albedo is about twice as high as this value, which suggests that there are substantial concentrations of metal phases in these areas. While three of these sites coincide with places that have been recorded as optically bright, one of these locations matches with the optically brilliant Panthea Crater. The other two locations correspond with regions that have also been described as optically bright. This apparent correlation between optical and radar albedos on Psyche has led to the hypothesis that there is a link between the processes that create regions of high metal content and brighter terrain. This hypothesis is based on the observation that there is a correlation between the optical and radar albedos on Psyche. The limits that are placed on Psyche's total composition are a result of its bulk density, which is 3.90.3 grams per centimeters cubed. The bulk density of the iron nickel that may be found in the vast majority of iron meteorites is 7.9 grams per cubic centimeter. If Psyche were the remaining core of an early planetesimal, then it would have to have an overall porosity of 50%. The immensity of Psyche lends itself to the conclusion that this is a very unlikely occurrence. However, in addition to enstatite chondrites, bencubinites, and mesosiderites, there are a few other forms of metal-rich meteorites that have been proposed as possible analogs for Psyche. Each of these other types of meteorites has a bulk density that is comparable to that of Psyche. The existence of silicate minerals on the surface of Psyche has been seen and reported by several different astronomers. Spectra that were collected in October 2016 at the NASA Infrared Telescope Facility at the Mauna Kea Observatories indicated evidence of hydroxyl ions on the asteroid in the form of an absorption signature at a wavelength of 3 micrometers, which may imply the existence of hydrated silicates. The hydroxyl could have been delivered to Psyche by previous impacts from smaller carbonaceous asteroids. This is because it is believed that Psyche was formed in dry conditions without the presence of water the radar albedo of Psyche varies quite a bit throughout the surface, with values that are anywhere from two to four times higher than those of typical main belt asteroids. These values range from 0.22 to 0.52. This range of values is equated by models of radar reflection with regolith bulk densities ranging from 2.6 to 4.7 grams per cubed centimeter, depending on the model. This range is in agreement with the majority of the metal-rich meteorite types described earlier as well as the spectroscopic identification of silicate materials. Unless the regolith in question is very porous, it cannot be consistent with an iron-nickel lithosphere that is purely elemental. So we are at the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button, and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update. If you have any questions or queries in your mind, tell me in the comment box, and also, check out our channel, you find really cool stuff.